From speed eating to boredom busting and even stress relief, today we're talking about a tool I think all pet parents should keep in their arsenal, licky mats. A lick mat is exactly what it sounds like. It is a mat that's made from food grade rubber and it features these 3D textures on it. There's various mats and they each have different types of grooves and textures, but it promotes licking. So what you do is you fill these mats with either some soft or pureed food. You can even do it with a nutritious uh, liquid, say bone broth or goat's milk, and it gets your dog to lick and lick and then lick some more in order to get all of that yummy food out. Now let's talk about the benefits. So yeah, on the surface, this is very simple and you might be asking yourself, well, what the heck does licking do for my dog other than, you know, get them to lick? Well, actually this, gives your dog a whole lot of different benefits. Number one is actually gonna be stress relief. So the act of licking helps our dogs release endorphins, which makes them feel good. It makes them feel calmer, it makes them feel happier. So say your dog gets stressed out during thunderstorms, or maybe you have to work and they are anxious because you're in the other room. This is a great way to calm them down. That act of licking is going to make them feel really good. Some other benefits include they help keep your dog busy, so they're a good boredom buster. They offer up mental stimulation. These mats act as a slow feeder for those pups who gobble up their food a little too quickly. They provide a tasty treat for dogs with dental issues. Plus, they're also a great crate training aid and they can help ease separation anxiety. Now let's talk about the different types of lick mats. So I use a brand called Licky Mat. It is one of the most popular brands that's out there. But if you do look online, there are various brands. But today we're gonna be talking about the different types of licky mats. This one's called the Slow Mo, and it really does function as a slow feeder in these larger grooves. If you are a kibble feeder, it does fit kibble. If you are a fresh food feeder, which is what I am, you can smear it through the entire thing. The fresh food does fit into these grooves grooves nice and perfectly, and then also into these smaller grooves over here. And it does wonder slowing down your dog. My pup Gigi uses this every single morning. I'll show a clip of her right now. And I mean, it's just, it's really worked wonders in our house. I, I love it. So the, the Licky Mat brand also has their classic series. They have a play date and also a buddy mat. I don't have those mats, so I'm gonna show pictures on the sides of the screen uh, just so you can see the different grooves. These are really great for smearing in. Fresh food would be great in these. Peanut butter and banana, boiled up chicken with some carrot if you puree that and then smear it on top of the mat, a sardine pate. Also in the classic series is this one, which is the mat I keep holding up, and it's called the Soother. The reason why this one's called the Soother is, you see how over here, these this 3D texture, it's a tighter texture than the other ones in the classic series. This makes it where your dog actually has to lick even more to get out all of that tasty food. And like we talked about before, the more they lick, the more endorphins are released. And so the Soother, the name goes, right? It's going to soothe your dog. That's the whole purpose of this one. Now with this, of course, you can put food. I actually did a mashed up banana in here the other day and my dogs were loving it. But you can also do liquids, bone broth or goat's milk. Then there's this one. This one is called the Wobble. If you are after an interactive toy and something that's gonna keep your dog focused on that and, and mentally stimulated and a little bit challenging, this one is the one that you might wanna go with. Put that down and just let your dogs go to town and it'll, it'll wobble around and, and your dog has to kind of figure it out. So it's, it's really great mental stimulator. And this last one that I have over here is called the Splash. So it looks like a very shallow bowl in the front and then in the back, you'll actually see this suction cup. Now the name Splash, what does that make us think of? water, right? So this suction cup is actually perfect to put right in your bathtub when your pets are taking a bath. Maybe they don't want to be in the bath or your dog gets a little stressed out during grooming times. This is a great way to let them focus on something a little bit more fun rather than that 
lather, rinse, and repeat. They are focusing more on something yummy and delicious. Now I wanna hear from you. Has your dog tried and enjoyed the licky mat? I would love to hear your experience in the comment section below. And I also wanna know what tasty treats you put inside because it's always more fun when we share our knowledge with each other and get ideas. So I hope that I gave you some good ideas to try with your dogs at home. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And while you're at it, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I like to post healthy dog treat recipes, um, some fun interactive dog toys, and just other things that some dog parents out there might enjoy for their pups. All right, see you next time.